Did you know that you can edit existing PDF files using just Affinity Publisher? Sometimes PDF editing software puts some paywalls or limits, so you cannot add a signature or you cannot put the image or anything else in that PDF without paying. For that, I always use Publisher. So let's try to drag and drop existing PDF file that was not created in Publisher. When you drop PDF file, it will try to detect fonts and then make the text editable. In my case, I got one font missing. In that case, you will see the same screen as me with PDF options and the font is missing. What I suggest to do is to search for this font before you start editing because we don't want to mess up fonts in this document. So I'm going to click cancel. And as you can see, I managed to find this font for free on Google Fonts. So now I just click get font, download. And with this new font installed on my system, I can try to drag in the PDF again. All right, this time I got all fonts available and I can decide do I want to load all pages, that 12 pages in this PDF or just one or two. So I can select that here and click open. And here it is, I managed to open a PDF file created not in Affinity Publisher. This is from Canva. And take a look, I can double tap in the text box and I can change the text. I can use the move tool to click on certain elements, move them around, change rotation of those elements. In some cases, there may be some invisible elements, so careful about that. You need to move them first out, uh, like masking elements, and I can even see there's a vector property of this line, and I can change the color to red. Within this software, I could drag and drop any signature, stamp, or picture here. I can get rid of this and then move the original image as well. I can scale it up and down. Alright, I can make all of the edits I want using just good old Affinity Publisher and then at the end just click File, Export and export all of this as PDF again as the new version with your, all of your changes. And that's it. Alright, so that's how you can edit existing PDF even from outside Affinity Publisher in Publisher. The key point is to be sure you got all of the fonts used in that PDF and after that you can start editing. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.